In 2017, SpaceX founder and CEO Elon Musk gave a presentation where he discussed his plans to colonize Mars. Along with colonizing Mars, he also discussed about hypersonic Earth-to-Earth -Earth travel by using big Falcon rockets or BFR. Here, the idea was to launch passengers into space by using BFR and land them back into different parts of Earth. This travel was so fast that the expected time to reach Shanghai from Los Angeles would have been only 36 minutes. Now, the only problem associated with the bow plan was we can't really launch or land rockets from crowded areas. To solve this issue, SpaceX came up with the revolutionary idea of loading launch pads. With this idea, it was planned to launch rockets from launch pad on a drone ship which will be floating on the surface of ocean. As launch pads will be built on ships, they will be portable and very easy to move, which will significantly reduce the cost as compared to building a permanent launch pad on remote islands. But this idea also had many engineering challenges until SpaceX really mastered vertical landing of their rockets smoothly on any surface. After Musk's 2017 presentation, this idea was not discussed much until recently when SpaceX posted two job vacancies for engineers who will help design and build an operational offshore rocket launch facility. There were many speculations about these job openings. Some were saying that these are related to the Starship project for mass colonization and some were saying that this is related to Earth to Earth travel. And finally, we have received confirmation from Elon Musk himself on June 16, 2020, where he tweeted this. And we all know when last time he randomly tweeted about LA traffic, what happened? If you really want to apply for a job in SpaceX just to fill those vacancies, please check out the links in the description given below. And yeah, one of the eligibility criteria for joining SpaceX is, uh, you should have American nationality. Well, I hope you really liked the video. If so, please leave a like and share this with your friends and family. And to show your support for science, just subscribe to science today.